Reading on the Bradbury Chronicles continues to go well. Uh, we've gotten up to the point where he has had a disastrous experience in Ireland uh, writing the screenplay for Moby Dick starring Gregory Peck for John Huston, who was a very Hemingway-esque, brusque, macho man, and that uh, kind of personality doesn't exactly mesh with somebody who has the sensitivity of Ray Bradbury and uh, has that sort of very earnest enthusiasm. So it is, uh, it is very sad seeing somebody who is as well-meaning and as, uh, you know, one-to-one -one what you see is what you get as Ray Bradbury uh, kind of suffer at the hands of somebody who's like that. But he seems to have done well for himself regardless, so not too tragic. Um, other than that, uh, Prince of Tides. This is excellent, and uh, it makes me feel very good about being a writer from South Carolina. Uh, Pat Conroy is amazing. And also, on the tail end of, uh, there we go, on the tail end of uh, Ghost of Tsushima, which I am still playing through, I've, my interest in haiku has been re-upped uh, re uh, in conjunction with stream moderator Boogle, who uh, he and I kind of did some research on this and decided to get this uh, each of us decided to get uh, this copy of uh, Basho, Busan, and Issa's haiku, and they're really they're very they're very good. Um, I think that Issa's opening is very strong and uh, is a reason to absolutely enjoy poetry that is not nearly as serious or heavy-handed as the uh, offerings of Ghost of Tsushima. But uh, New Year's Day. Everything is in blossom. I feel about average. <laughs> and uh, don't worry, spiders. I keep house casually. And uh, yeah, those are solid. They're good stuff. I've also been rewatching uh, Sanjiro and uh, Yojimbo, you know, and uh, Three Outlaw Samurai. It's just the movies that uh, Ghost of Tsushima bases a lot of its uh, atmosphere on are just excellent. So, and uh, yeah, also, I went out to the Puget Sound earlier this week and uh, brought my binoculars so I could uh, catch an eye at the birds that fly on the shoreline, and while looking out at the water, I saw a uh, what looked like uh, just a small piece of driftwood um, many hundreds of yards out, and the current was pretty strong, the waves were coming in, so I watched this thing come in for about 20 minutes, and uh, it was pretty amazing. Like Again, this thing looked like this big, far out, and after waiting about 20 minutes, watching it come in, it kind of came in at a slant, so I had to keep going down the beach to catch it, uh, it finally arrived, and it is that big. <laughs> it was huge, and it was super heavy, because it was, uh, well, literally, in all senses of the word, waterlogged. So, yeah. Solid week. 